Let me give you a quick tour of this page and some of the concepts that it introduces. This is where we modify which themes our site uses and what attributes our themes have. If you've ever run into the idea of a skin, a theme is a similar concept. The idea is that we can retain the same functionality of our site, but change the look and feel simply by switching out the theme. And there are a number of themes available to download and integrate with our site. And Drupal, by default, comes with several themes. So you'll see up at the very top, we have a line that says set and configure default theme for your website. Alternative themes are available. And if you click on this, you'll go to a section on the drupal.org site that includes additional themes that you can download and install. Next, we see enable themes. And if we scroll down, we'll see another section at the bottom called disabled themes. So our site can have both, but enabled themes are the ones that are currently active. This top one contains a screenshot, the title, which is called Bartik 7.0, and it says in parentheses default theme, and it gives us a description, and we can click here to modify the settings, which we'll do in just a moment. But notice that we also have a second enabled theme called 7.7.0. There's a description, and then because this isn't the default theme, we also have the option of disabling and setting this theme as the default. Now, there's a difference between your default theme and your administration theme. Notice here it says something about an administration theme. If you scroll down to the very bottom, you'll see some options for the administration theme. And you see that it's set to seven. What this means is that when we're on administrative pages, for example, this one, we'll see it in a different theme than we would front end pages that normal users to the site would see. The reason that this is important to understand when it comes to changing the logo, which is our current task, is that we wanna make sure that we change the logo for the theme that's currently the front end enabled theme. I'm gonna scroll back up to the top. You'll also notice that there's a settings link here, but there's also a settings link here. The difference between the two is that this is the global settings that will apply to all themes, and this is the settings that would apply to a particular theme. One oddity of Drupal, though, is that these settings here are overridden completely as soon as you save the settings for a particular theme. So that means that Right now, we could upload our logo to this settings page, but if we went and changed any specific settings for our theme, we would then need to change the logo again inside of the theme-specific settings. So let's go ahead and just bypass that option and go straight to this settings page. I'm gonna go ahead and click it. Okay, we see some options. It looks like we can modify some colors on the site. There's a preview of how the site will look when we change the colors. But we're going to continue to scroll down until we see some options about the logo. Okay, down here near the bottom, we have logo image settings. And we don't see any upload option because this is checked. It says use the default logo. So let's go ahead and uncheck that. And now you see we have the option to set a path to the custom logo or upload a logo image. Let's go ahead and upload one. I'm going to go ahead and click on Browse, and then navigate to your resource pack directory, and in it, go ahead and expand the images folder, and this is where all the resources are for the site that Heather put together for us. And we wanna go ahead and upload the one called logo, logo.png. Let's go ahead and save it. And let's jump to the home page because we need to view a page that's using the front end default theme instead of the administration theme. So I'm going to click on the home page icon in the upper left hand corner in our administration bar. Okay, it looks like we have our logo. It's right here. And it looks good. It's in the right position, except that now we have this site name right here, which we don't need anymore. It's not part of our mock up. So we need to go ahead and remove that in the next step.